This is Navigating Blackboard and video four all about homework. All right, so one of the things you're actually going to have to do uh, this year for your science class is you're going to have to do some homework. Uh, rest assured, your homework is not going to be the typical science homework. Uh, what I mean by that is generally you take notes or you read textbooks or read articles or do some research during class and then your homework would be to kind of apply that when you go home. Um, we're going to kind of flip-flop that and instead of doing the like notes or readings in class, you'll do the notes or readings away from class because they're relatively simple. It's just getting through the information and finding what you need to know and then you'll be applying it in class. So stuff that would normally be homework will be doing in class so that you can have the guidance you need. Um, so you're going to find homework when you go on to the Blackboard course and on the left hand side are all these really cool <laughs> links and you'll notice a section called homework. You'll always see the homeworks will be in order and there'll be a due date. This one's due August 20th and then a title. So if you're ever looking for it, now homework is graded. It's a single grade. It's worth 100 points. Um, you either did it or you didn't do it and I highly urge you to do it. It's not very difficult at all. And most times you're just going to be watching a video. If you are not familiar with how to take notes, if you look over here, there's a section called Clornell Notes. And I do expect you to understand this and we'll go over it in class. But here's a picture of what Cornell Notes look like. They're the two column method. Um, you put your keywords or your questions over here, your descriptions or definitions here. And every page has a very short, brief summary of what the page is about. Um, here's some information on it and then there's a video taking you through exactly how to do it. So make sure you check that out uh, because you are expected to master Cornell notes by the end of this school year. Uh, I'm going to go back to, actually I'm going to go into student mode here so you don't see all of my stuff and we'll go into the videos and then here you'll see this is clicking and here are all the videos you need. There's four videos. I try to keep the videos under 10 minutes. Um, generally, I try to keep them actually under three minutes, but sometimes you just need a lot more time. So you could, you can see you have like a week to do this. You can click from piece to piece in this table of contents over here, or you can scroll going through these arrows, whatever works for you. So let's go through some notes really quickly. Welcome to episode two, and this one's going to focus on testing a hypothesis. So we'll be using a young Cornell style note. If you need a refresher or if you've never been able to set them up correctly, please take a moment to look at the short video on how to set up Cornell style notes. It's on my part in my course. So what you're going to learn during this episode is the different ways to test hypotheses, the types of data, distinguish between quantitative and qualitative data, forming conclusions, and finally, what happens once you've completed your investigation. All right, so I wanted to point this out. So each video or each section, whether it's a Prezi or just a PowerPoint or just some sort of information, each section will start with objectives, learning objectives. And that's basically when you finish watching the video or reading the article or whatever it is, you need to know the answers to if they're questions or you need to know that specific information. So I'm trying to guide you to understand that this is kind of the important stuff you're supposed to be learning. Um, another thing when you're watching videos is you'll notice that YouTube has this little maximize, but if you click on it, it's not going to let you maximize it. I'm not quite sure why that is, but there are ways around it. One way around it is I put the URL here. So if you simply click and then you got to click again, It'll take you to the video and then you, of course, you can use the maximize there. Um, if that doesn't work out for you, let me hit back here. Uh, another thing you can do is I'm using Google Chrome. Usually there's a menu or something. This one has the three dots. If you click here, you can just hit zoom. Um, and the other option would be if you have a touch screen, like if you're at school, I'm just putting my fingers on the screen and I'm just maximizing that picture. So whatever works for you best, you can use any one of those. You've completed Navigating Blackboard, the homework section, and next up you'll learn about surveys, tests, and quizzes.